test here right now. You can see my meter. I have it shut off. That comes up. Showing the meter. I'm going to show you that this is turned off. Zero. There you go. Right now I'm drawing zero, 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 zero. A meter shut off. So what you see down here is this extension cord comes out right there. So my extension cord's coming out. I'll show another video later how I hook this into my breaker box. Basically it's just an RV or generator plug that goes inside like if you're going to run a generator to your house and that's how I do this. Then you follow the cord. Doo -doo -doo. This cord here is 12 gauge. I'm not running a lot of power on it but this is 12 gauge wire so it's a heavy duty cord. Comes all the way back. Here, we'll pull this back. Oh, there goes the big guy. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. cord comes back. This is just going to show you by using my switches to turn things off and stuff. So, during the day, on this cord, this is like my emergency how I power the whole house if I had to in an emergency. And then we come over here, come down, you see that cord plugged in right there. Okay, so this 34.2 watts is what my house is using. The whole house is run off of this right now. So that is what I'm using, 34.1 watts. Come over to the solar side. Right now, because my refrigerator is not cycling right now, so the house right now on my solar is only using basically... 20 watts. And this comes down to having all the switches. You can see here I'm bringing in the power. Right here on that one is bringing in 365 watts. And this one here is bringing in 15.2.3 amps. And look at that, that's what I'm using. When the refrigerator kicks on, Boom, that'll jump up to 150 watts, 160 watts. And when it cycles and it's done, like it's done with the cycle right now, it's just sitting there waiting. I'm only running 20 watts. So the whole house, right now, you know, this this here is going to be my the solar. This is what I have run in, and this is what runs off this all day long. That'll go up and down depending on when the refrigerators kick on. Then the house itself is going to use that. So... During the day when I'm gone, and I have all my little switches in there, so basically what that is, is uh, right now the cable uh, modem for my cable coming in, that's running. I have an, an alarm clock that's running off of that. There's some other, you know, the light for the uh, oven is on, like the little clock. So this is the minuscule watts that everything's going up, you know, a few little things in there that are plugged in, toothbrush things plugged in. So it's gonna draw 35 watts all day long. That's the whole freaking house, you know, the air conditioning's not on right now. But if I'm gone to work, we're gone all day, on average, I'm drawing about 35 watts. Well, how do you, this is where your power saving comes in. Well, how do I get away with that? Well, that's where it comes in if you look at my other ones where I have all those little switches that turns off all the cable boxes and stuff. If I didn't have those switches, you know, the little disconnects like this here. If I didn't have what you see here, I have this in the house and it disconnects the cable boxes, the TVs when I'm not using them, the microwave clock and everything else. If I didn't have all those switches on, you know, so it turned everything off, this would probably be 150 watts, you know, 160 watts all day long so by having those I trimmed it down so now you can see right here this is the whole house and basically this is what it'd be like when I go to work and I'm gone during the day I'm only drawing 34 watts this is how I'm saving a bunch of money not necessarily have everything on the solar now the solar end over here this is going to start drawing a lot more power because the refrigerator cycles the beer fridge I have cycles the freezer in the garage turns on cycles so periodically through the day, things are going to come on and go off, but this is completely off-grid. So this is running off my inverter. This power box right here, you see the main inverter, the patio, the bar, 
that's going to take all that power. So that power is produced from the sun, you know, my solar. So right there it's zero. That's a zero bill. And this right here is where the power draws. But if you look over here on the house, this here, this is going to be all day long until I come home and you start turning some lights on, which are LEDs and different things. So this is just to show real quick, like what my house uses on average when we're at work or we're not home or whatever, you know, no one's here. That's it. 34 watts. And that's just alarm clocks and a few other things plugged in. Dirt cheap. So this is the proof right here showing you that if you do my other watch the other videos on how to save power and what to do, this is it. This is the, this is the winner right here. This is showing you where you're going to save your money. Not necessarily on the off-grid solar and everything else. Just your basic saving. All right. And this is one of the reasons here. You look at. I'll do another video later on grid ties and the crap things that those things are. But this right here. Why would I try and even put a grid tie in if I'm only using 34 watts? It would be useless. You don't need to do those little grid ties. If you just do the other thing and you put these little switches in here and stuff like that, then you don't need a grid tie. There's no need for them. You're not going to save yourself any money. You're going to waste money. You're going to lose money. And they're dangerous. But just doing what I do here, spending a couple bucks on a couple things and going through the house, there you go. Right there. 34 watts. Alright, I'll do another video on those cheap grid tie inverters and don't waste your money and how dangerous they are and how much <laughs> they cost to do and your return on them is ridiculous so all right that's what this one is right now have a nice day